Welcome back, guys, to another video, guys, and thank you, Rock Me in the Journey for as 2024. Whew, man, we are what basically about to be three months down in the year 2024, and we're just hold on by this much the thread of a country left. And this story here, guys, if you're in California, any liberal city, guys, to a point. I got to keep asking the question. Yes, people are voting with their feelings, their emotions, and they're just destroying their own state and destroying the country as well. So eventually, we all feed. We all feel it one way or another. When you destroy California to a point where hundreds of thousands of people have to flee to other states, because mostly they voted for the left liberal Democratic fucking crazy radical laws and proposals that in taxes that they destroy their state, leave, go to another state and try to destroy that state. When you move to another state from leaving New York, Chicago, LA, or Cal anything in California like that, all the blue liberal cities and states, when you come to a new state like Florida, red states are nice. We got really no, no, not much crime here. The taxes are not too bad. You can afford to live somewhat. Please leave your boating habits with you in California, Chicago, New York. Leave your boating habits there. You got to understand, you are the common denominator if you keep voting Democrat, 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 D down the middle. They're Democrat no matter what. Who? Stop it. Stop Vote. If you're not going to take voting seriously, do your homework, do some research, look into both candidates, see what's right for you and your, your family. You're just going to vote just because D down the middle, R down the middle, both sides, Republicans as well. If you're not going to do your homework and really take this shit serious, do not vote. Especially, like I said, local, your local and state elections are more important than any national or any president election, of course. Please. Voting, yes, is a right, but it's a damn, you got to take it seriously. You just can't vote because somebody colors somebody's skin. Oh, there's a black first black female male. Oh, the first gay male. Oh, representative. Stop voting like that. Okay, everybody look like you. Ain't, all skin folks ain't kin folks. Oh, she's the first non-biased non non damn candidate. She's a gay candidate. She's a lesbian. She's this, 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 and this. Tra first trans candidate running for mayor. I got to vote for that to be the first for history. Stop it. Stop voting like that. Please. And let's take us, and this is California here. Raising their minimum wage set the goal to $16 to $20. Basic economics 101. You cannot just ra keep raising the minimum wage because you feel like somebody working at McDonald's, this should this just they need a living wage looking at McDonald's. No, McDonald's fast food jobs are mostly part-time or secondary job, like they probably should be, or mostly for high school or college kids. Still living at home or at college. You shouldn't be no grown ass man or woman. That's your full-time job. Well, it could be your second or third full-time job to pay the bills, don't get me wrong. But it shouldn't be it shouldn't be your one and only job. It should be for kids, teenagers, or in college. Or like I say, if your second part-time job to help pay some bills, second full-time job, like I said, help read your family, something like that. But you shouldn't be the man that out top nobody flipping burgers $20. You do that, at McDonald's, McDonald's be like, okay, we're gonna cut, we're gonna have to cut personnel, we're gonna cut your hours. Eventually, we're gonna have AI robots. Taking orders and flipping burgers back here soon. If that's what to get to, you don't kill. Could I give you a six, an 18 year old in high school still $20 an hour? So I have to pay Big Macs, gonna have to be $15 just for the Big Mac. I ain't even talking about the meal. You have to sell your first bone to get the full meal. That's what I'm saying. You, when you don't educate yourself, you both in emotion, you both radical. You get bullshit like this. Let's go over this. 
we're gonna go over this because California, any liberal cities, they they do crazy shit like that. You you raise the minimum wage. You have migrant, your sanctuary cities or states. You're raising taxes. You're cutting taxes. You got liberals out here doing crazy shit, riding and stealing shit in all your stores. You defunding the police. What 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 are you guys doing? And who is leading this charge? You can't be a real a rascal man on, on the left and thinking this is okay. You gotta be like, no, we need law and order. We need some down the middle people that's gonna think and that live, think and live in reality. It's not a utopia, it's not a fantasy world where everybody get rainbows, lollipops, and everybody live good and happy. No, real world, the consequences to everybody action and reactions. Most of these look. Mostly liberal Democrat leftists, they are big children that were never told no or never got a good ass whooping as needed when they was kids. Let's be real about it. This parenting, oh, everybody get a trophy. Oh, everybody had to be nice and no bullying, blah, 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 kumbaya. We all hold hands. I'm my child best friend not parent and this is where we at now can't get mad with nobody but us let's go over the story here here about california cutting jobs are getting cut more people out of work well like the most more jobs most of these jobs will be going to ai and robots a lot more people gonna be losing jobs it's already hard enough out here to survive and live shit gonna hit the fan eventually but hey that's just me if you if you you'll see it, you see it yourself. I'm doing these videos as well. Hey, if you're in a red state like me in Florida, it's not too bad. Even though, yes, we was much better under Trump. We can't wait to get back. But if you in, like I can say, you in these blue cities and states, oof, I'm praying for you. Mm. Yeah. And you got a point there. Like they said, they, they love to be like, oh, it's for large corporations like McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza, large corporation that can pay $20 an hour. But like him, he's a middle of the shop, mom and pop. So he, like I say, if you want to tame employees, hey, I'm only getting 16. McDonald's now getting 20. Just got to go up 18-ish, 19 or somewhere close to the $20 an hour, even though it's not a mandate for him being a smaller business. But that price still, he still got to repeat with the big box stores, big corporation, fast food places like McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza Hut, Domino's. He still have to compete. And also not just playing his employees more money, and well, he's gonna have to probably raise his prices of his food. More likely, stuff gonna have to go up to pay for to to offset now the, the rise of salary and different things and, and, and cost and wage. He's gonna have to raise the price of the food. Everything is a ripple effect that people that just wanna do things with emotion. Everybody should get $20 out. It's a livable wage. We are uh, raised the minimum wage. Nobody can live off that. It's not meant to be lived off. The minimum wage was never meant to be lived on. The government should not be messing with none of these companies to tell them what they need to pay. You negotiate your salary with your experience and skills. You can't negotiate a salary for a living that's on you. If they, you say, hey, one company, hey, I want $20 or I'll just say, I, you go to company A, X. Hey, my salary demands are fifty thousand dollars, and come the ex either gonna agree to it, or they ain't. They be like, well, the, the job is only up to forty five. And when it, it, it and it's up to you if you want to take it or not. It's okay. I say fifty. They only offer forty five, and it's up to you. You want to take it? You want to take it? 
take it. If it's not good enough, leave. You have the right to negotiate your, your salary at most jobs. So to send a minimum wage, you, you can't you can't dictate a minimum wage to any company. Either they're gonna pay you what you think you work or what you think you are, you move on. Huh? We letting the allow the government to dictate all this, like this minimum wage hike and all this other stuff like that. It's a problem. We need less government, let the corporation and business do what they need to do. Capital society dictate what the price set, what your skills worth. You ain't got no skills, no, you ain't got no real skills, no experience, and nothing like that. You don't get paid shit. That's any field, that's anywhere. You wanna you want better better pay? Get better education, get better skills, get better training, get better things over time. It's, it's a slow, it's a, you gotta grind. You gotta start at the bottom of some companies or somewhere or some fields and work your way up. A lot of these kids, a lot of these millennials, a lot of these motherfuckers don't want to. Put the work and time and effort in the grind to get to the five, ten years, get some experience, to move their way up. They want to start and get what the CEO's making day one. Like, no, you got to put some work in. You got to put some blood, sweat, and tears here and grind, put some hours in. You can't work the minimum, do the minimum, expect to be in a Lamborghini. And that's the problem. We got today, and that's why they want the government to dictate, do all this shit. These people are lazy, entitled, and just destroying themselves. Let's watch a little bit more of this. Wow. So he was already paying 20. Now he got to go up to 22, 25. Woo. Yep. Everything go new bracket, bracket. Nope, food car prices. Mm. Men on the way height in 2024. Look at the map. Men on the height in 2024. And of course, inflation and stuff like that. I'm in Florida as well. I'm surprised. I don't know what the rate. I got to look what the rate is. But look at this. California, Nevada, Arizona, Oregon, Washington State, Hawaii. The West Coast is basically blue. Alaska is red, but it's not many people in Alaska, of course. Illinois, of course, blue state. Missouri, blue state. Minnesota, I mean, Minneapolis, blue state. Hmm. Like I said, New York, of course, blue state. Look at this, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Maine, blue state. All mostly blue states. Michigan, blue state, damn near. Ohio, flip back and forth, spring state. Like I said. Like I said, the country, I mean, to a point, because of Joe Biden, Bidenomics, screwing the economy, inflation stuff. So, yeah, you some states have to, have, have to raise. The, I wish they would leave back to so the government, have no choice, but to get, to get their hand dirty, to mess with stuff. And now they, 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 and we all feel the pain of that because they mess with stuff. They're not been this mindset. They're just going on whatever the, the feelings of the web and people going to vote for them and keep them in power. That's why Trump was actually good for us as presidents. Can he, can America is a business, a corporation. He's a businessman. We need business-minded people running the country in government, period. You can't, no way we can keep cutting trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. We, get, we can't keep spending. We can't, we, for the year, let's say the fiscal year. The government is spending $10 trillion, but 
So all the tax and money we getting in is only four trillion dollars. We can't balance the budget like that. We can't keep doing that. We can't keep spending more than we getting in. That's why we need business-minded people. People know economics. People that know how to balance fucking numbers like that. We just can't be cutting a check and keep kicking the can down the road. And all the all these politicians too, they get books like this. Hey, read the lo- read the bill, and give me a yay and nay tomorrow. Who'd read a five to ten thousand page? Work for bullshit and only got 25 to vote on it. That should never happen. Like I said, I mean, California is the dead state. The blue states, I mean, people alone, stop voting with your emotion or feelings. That goes for both sides of the aisle. I'm conservative by nature, but I don't just, the Republican Party has been dead to me for years. I I vote independent. I vote a third party or write a name in. Hell, I need to go Democrat depending on who the person is if I did my home research on. You just can't do either side. Blue down the middle. Blue for Democrat for not red down the middle. Republicans. Stop that. Oh, that's the first first gay mayor ever. I gotta vote for no matter what. Oh, the first trans representative. Oh, I gotta vote for him. No, stop that. Stop that. Do your homework. Do your homework. Do your background check on these people. Look at their policies. If they don't have no real strategy policy, do not vote for them. Guys, what do you guys think? California, like I said, April first. That's that's Monday coming up. Like I said, bigger cup in California. Man, this period. If you are in the blue state, please get the hell out. Please. If you can't get out. Well, it's too late. But but if you if you love the fire, like I said, you love the fire around, everything's fine. Hey, right, burn down with the house, baby. Do what you need to do. God, what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video out, guys, because we get to a hell of a ride. Like I said, jobs are being lost left and right, crime is going up. Like I said, we got a lot of craziness going on, a lot of the immigrants are in this country killing robbing taking taxpayer money and stuff like that something have to give and i'm praying we can just get to november get trump in but until then god keep your head up be aware of your surroundings take make sure you take care of your loved ones watch over them because the government nobody's coming to save us nobody's looking for you our government hates us until Shit changed. Our government hates us. Hate you. If you're not, and they will not come to save you if something happened. You are in their way of total control and dominance. Let's tell them to go fuck off. Till the next.